Yo, 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 welcome to the channel. So today we are going to unbox a Nikon 35 millimeter lens. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I film videos on DIY projects that I do around the house, tutorials and tips I've learned on my adventures in filmmaking. If I travel someplace cool, I'm sure to take lots of video. And when I get some cool new gear, I'm gonna unbox it and give a first look and a review on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, take a minute, head down below and hit that subscribe button. Get into the unboxing part. So as you can tell, this wasn't brand new. This lens came from an auction site and it was basically used as a demo inside a store. So hopefully everything's okay with it. That's a heavy piece of glass right there. That is a very, very nice looking lens. So as you can see, it's got the manual and autofocus on the side here. This is what it looks like. It's all its buttery goodness. The blades, like just having it, I don't know. Can you pick up the blades in there? Yeah, there you go. Hold on. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the blades inside that. So if you've been following along in the channel, you'll know that about a year ago, I did a video on the Nifty 50. The thing is, I don't have a full frame camera. I use a Nikon D5200 camera, and that is a cropped sensor. When you have a camera with a cropped sensor, it seems like your image is zoomed in. It's not actually zoomed in, it's just a smaller portion of the sensor. Now, Becky and Chris did a freaking amazing video on explaining this a lot better than I can. So I'll put a link in the description down below. Definitely go check out their video on the crop factor. So with Nikon equipment, the crop factor is 1.5. So my 50 millimeter lens turned into a 75 millimeter lens. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for in a lens at the time that I bought it but I've kept it in the arsenal because it keeps me creative. There are definitely a lot of great ways that you can use a 75 millimeter lens, but I still wanted that 50 millimeter lens. So getting the 35 millimeter is going to give me a 1.5. So I'm going to now have a 52.5 millimeter lens with this 35 here. So super excited to get this guy here. I'll show you guys what it looks like. How about we do that? So if you didn't know, almost all of my vlogs that are filmed in this studio are filmed with the 10, 20 millimeter lens that I have on the camera right now. So I'm gonna take that off and switch over to this beautiful looking 35 millimeter. So here we go. Get another product shot here. So we're gonna switch over to the 35 mil. Here we go. Okay, so there you go. This is the 35 millimeter lens with a crop factor of 1.5 on an icon. So it's gonna act like a 50 millimeter lens for me. This is gonna be a perfect lens to get some awesome portrait photos as well as play around with a little bit of video as well. So as you can see, we've got the blurred background behind me here and this guy here. So I do have this 35 mil on a Joby tripod. So let's just see if I can get enough arm's length out of the tripod to vlog with a 35mm on an Nikon D5200. Let's just see. Alright, so you could with the 35mm definitely vlog with it, but it is a little, it's a little close still. I think I'll stick to my 1020 for everyday vlogging. So make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time, take it easy out there. 